Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C Language Programming Series. And right now, it's uh, 4 o'clock a.m. in the morning, and uh, we have a typhoon, but uh, I need to continue this uh, project. So our topic for today is about white space. White, white space, if we're going to define uh, a white, pa white space is a line containing only white spaces. Okay? So white space is a line containing only white spaces. And uh, we have another meaning of a white space. It uh, white space uh, separates one part of a statement. from another and uh, enables enables the compiler to identify where one element in uh, the statement okay such as such as in our example okay so uh, let's proceed uh, below okay Okay, um, let's have an example. Okay, uh, we have sharp. Let's do the code. Include scdio.h integer main. Begin and then enter. Okay, uh, right here. We are declaring integer as it is required, and we're going to give uh, some variable like uh, we have a foot. Okay, so if you notice, we have here the code, the head, the neck, and the body. And uh, we declare okay, uh, a reserve word with a variable name and the end of statement. Okay? Or the end of uh, the line, which is the semicolon. Now, um, what is a white space right here? white space right here is this part okay you can see this one so there's a uh, one space between in and fruit okay so the reason why the reason why there's a space because if there's no space between these uh, two it could be in fruit and that is considered to be an error okay so that's why every variable and its data type or reserve word must have a space okay, between these uh, two statements. Okay? Now, um, in our meaning, 
uh, it separates okay white space it uh, separates one part of statement from another and enables the compiler to identify or one element in a statement so that's it so it separates one part of the statement so that the compiler must know that this is a reserved word and another one is separated by a white space to identify that this one is a variable okay or an identifier uh, last time we discussed uh, the user defined identifier so this one is a user defined identifier now let's check out so in is a reserve word and uh, a fruit is a variable that's it so let's check this one click debug but before clicking the debug we have a line here and right here last time we discussed about the keywords okay that's why we have here a keyword is a reserved word okay so uh, look at this it's an identifier it is also a reserved word okay so what you need to do is to click this one and exclude from the project and right now we are ready to uh, run this program click debug and start without debugging yes so it goes to green we are ready okay uh, at the lower part of the screen build succeeded and that's it so this one is okay and that is a white space now uh, there are there are uh, kinds okay four kinds or four kinds of white space okay number one is a comments a comments if you notice so the a comments can be considered green in color so it is a text which is green in color okay now um, the second one is a blank line okay the third one is a tabs and the fourth one is a new line character okay so this uh this four considered to be the uh, four kinds of comment okay so we have the example of a comment right here which is color in green a blank line so a blank line it could be an this one is a blank line there is no such uh, text okay uh, there's no such text right here so this one is a blank line there is a line but there is no text so that is a blank line now uh, also a tab okay if you press the tab on the keyboard look at this and I'm going to press it again right here and that is a tab and uh, this one is considered to be a white space also now a new line character okay <laughs> so it is also a white space so let's uh, proceed with this so let's type uh, printf so that uh, we can see what is a new line character so fruit uh, we have guyaba no guyaba no and uh, you will notice that uh, we have here guyaba no and uh, 
in the middle of the the double quote or the quote you need to type text but the white spaces will be inserted also could be inserted also so by uh, backslash and n right here you'll notice backslash n uh, after Guyabano so this one is a new line okay so uh, let's check out but before we proceed with this let's uh, remove for this and uh, let's uh, click debug and start without debugging yes so the output would be that's it so we have Guyabano Guyabano and uh, press any key to go to the now with uh, the backslash n or the new line character if we click debug and start without debugging there is a big difference okay on the output look at this so we have guyabano then the new line then the press any key to continue look at this so this is much better than in in any our previous uh, video that uh, a text or a string has been connected by press any key to continue okay so it is not clear but right now the backslash n or the new line character is applicable you can use it anytime okay now uh, another theory or uh, part of this white space is the what you call the computation okay let's uh, proceed with this an example of that is fruit is equals to uh, buko plus guyabano So we have fruit is equals to buko plus guyabano. Now you will notice that the buko word or a buko fruit we have underlined. It identifies by the uh, IDE that there is no such thing as buko in their dictionary, even guyabano. Okay, that's why. And the fruit is clear. There is no error on this because there is no red underline because we declare a fruit on the top part of it. Now, uh, to make it uh, uh, complete and no errors, we're going to type integer buko semicolon, then integer guyabano semicolon. And look at that so it, uh, the red underline has been done and it's okay now what is the topic right here the topic right here is that uh, a white space if we're going to uh, run this code click debug start without debugging so that we can check if there's an error or nothing it succeeded and we have a runtime library Program dead instruction in C, debug C language, module del, runtime check failure tree, the variable buko is being used without being initialized. Oh, it is late. Okay, the, the runtime library uh, interpret that the uh, buko is not being declared, but it is declared. So let's click uh, ignore. ignore. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so we have we have an still because it is on the text. Now, uh, what uh, I mean to say is that this word, okay, this uh, line, okay, uh, fruit equals buko plus guyabano. Okay, in fruit, the space space and in the buko space plus space so this is considered to be uh, <coughs> um, distinguish without a new line 
or a white space okay because it is almost similar if you put this space here it is still a fruit if you put the space here it is still buko if you put the space here it is still plus sign and if you put the space here it's still guiabano now the idea right here is that no need to put a space while in the uh, the formula right here okay no need to put a space the reason why we put the space on this part is for readability okay but uh, again there is no white space and we use this on and we use a space for readability okay that's it so to make it more readable we put space but there's no need to put a white space on this line of code now uh, let's uh, click debug and uh, start without debugging yes and that's it okay so ignore ignore so they they don't want <laughs> buko to make it a variable here um, I think uh, Visual Studio 2012 having an error of inputting buko and uh, thank you for your time watching this video for more videos uh, you can email me at uh, syvillarealjr0105-1975 at yahoo.com.ph Good luck!